Third set. Third. All right, some doubles action as Ruben and King take on Descotti and Lutz. Descotti to serve. Descotti at 24 years of age out of Buenos Aires. On the double side, 329, 291, the career high for him. Grand Slam Championship at Wimbledon 2014. In fact, Orlando and Noah Rubin both winning Wimbledon Junior titles in 2014. Again, Quick game. hold, one love. Twenty-three years of age, from Long Island. Two fifty in the world on the double side. Two forty-nine, the career high. Looking for his third quarterfinal of twenty nineteen. Interesting match, I, I, I have to say, in, in terms of the hat here today. Orlando lose now at one all. Orlando Luz is a guy who does have a Grand Slam champion to his credit. Wimbledon 2014 on the doubles side. Also final the French Open in a doubles. 21 years of age. Trains out of Barcelona. has picked up a win today in singles. It was a epic one to start the day in a third set tie break. So you worry about his legs. And on top of it, he's got to deal with Noah Rubin tomorrow.
pretty decent little excuse me return from Darian King. Pair of break chances. this deciding point. That is a not up. Regardless, it is too with Noah Rubin. Twenty seven years of age out of Barbados, one ninety in the world. That is a career high for him. Two quarterfinals, two semis, and one final to his credit this year. Final of Indian Wells challenger with Hunter Reese. King missed by a good solid inch or so. Couple of break chances now for the Scottie Roots. on the near side, and it is the 3-1. Yeah, nice curler. I, I'm impressed, Lutz. Despite the fact that, again, he played 245-ish this morning in these type of conditions, bouncing around good energy from him. Nice little curler volley. I think that Descotti is uh, probably the guy who's least known of these four. Has six straight first round losses. Seven overall and two and eight in this year at the challenger level.
Descotti yesterday, two and one over Martin Redlicky. Grabs another racket out of the bag for him tomorrow, Ty Kwiatkowski. Deciding point this time, it will be King as well. Third break chance. Completely different energy levels between these two, <laughs> two teams, King and Ruben, as they did when they won their Stockton title together, just relaxed. Doesn't really matter too much whether they win or lose. You can tell from Lutz and Viscotti, completely different in terms of what they want and the outcome. has the feel of an yeah, exhibition. matchup tomorrow with Arthur Crawford of the University of Florida. Good win for Crawford over Ilya Marchenko. in the tank on the legs here today, especially considering I, I'm, I'm guessing their match is going to be first on tomorrow, so 10 o'clock. Ian Rubin. The conditions here really make you question why you're 
in the doubles draw at some point. Opening here for King and Ruben once again. Five two is this guy. Yeah. Pretty good, says Noah Rubin. guys covering the middle and they are definitely putting on a show not nearly enough people for this type of show however I mean, this is high level entertainment if nothing else love 30 opening here for us and the Scotty It's going to be the one who certainly Dude. makes a few more Nine movements, a deciding point, point that will also serve as a set point. One for one so far.
every single one of them. Four double faults for the team. He's got three of them. Well done. Too good from Orlando Lewis. <laughs> Fantastic stuff from the 2014 Junior Wimbledon doubles champion. Set points. Now more break chances for King and Ruben. But Descani Lutz, King and Ruben out quickly. Ruben to serve to start. Set number oh. two. Casual. This is, this is such an interesting dynamic, isn't it? Back in miscue from Ruben and a deciding point it will be the Scotty to take it on the ad side. As a team, they are one of two so far. escapes that damage. Oh my goodness. Again, the perfect touch with the curler. It's too good. What are you going to do? No amount of speed can track that down.
Thirty-fifteen. Yeah, that was. Right, right, and I say correction. It was not uh, sure. Come on. <laughs> the Scotty claims it misses by an inch and a half. Clearly not. Sweaty day here, and we are into an eye formation too from Ruben. That's such a good return too from Lutz. should hit the, the strings of the racket. Uh, typically that's going to make it go a little bit farther into the court rather than the outside of the frame. Double point. Solid stuff there. 40, 15. Game points. Yeah. Ace closes it down. Serving here. That one, two. Again, double faults have been a bit of an issue for them. And multiple double faults from both players. Unlucky bit there for Noah Rubin, who absolutely destroyed that ball, but just catching the net there. Just joining us, Lutz and Noah Rubin, both Wimbledon Junior Grand Slam champions back in 2014. Orlando on the double side, Rubin, of course, singles champion in 2014. certainly had plenty of opportunities. They're going to get another look here. 1530. Again, quite relaxed from them here on the near side of the court.
A chance for Noah Rubin to show off the hands. Earns a couple of great chances for his team at 1540. Soft touch from Noah Rubin. And finally, King and Rubin are able to get their break 3-1. Some players who maybe don't get that normal exposure is taking advantage of it. Wow. The speed from Rubin, he is nearly into the net post, almost finds it, but love 15. doubles matches he absolutely enjoys engaging with the crowd making sure they're enjoying this first round doubles experience nearly as much as he is start on the single side. Don't know that there's much to be gained scouting wise here today. That's well handled. Just absolutely on top of that net, really controlling things is Orlando Lutz. So pressure point here for Noah Rubin, 30 all. And you can certainly see it in his face here, despite this being his first match of the week already. Quite gassed, temperatures 90 degrees. The feels like temperature off the court, 99. I'm sure much worse for them on court. Takes that one right into Viscotti, does Daring King, and Ruben with a chance to hold here. Deciding point, great chance. It's to take it on the deuce side. They are one of three so far on their break chances. And Noah Rubin able to consolidate. Immediately following this one as Descondi serves 1 4. Scotty 
Kennedy certainly has that capability of being explosive and Ruben. A couple of rolled forehands from him allowing Descotti to hit himself out of that point. Ruben King continued to just enjoy this experience out on court. Again, champions with us last year on the USTA Pro Circuit in Stockton was the first doubles title of the career of Noah oh. Ruben. A second for Darian King. Scotty decides he's done with it. Ruben passed into the alley once again. That's at least four times here on the day. Much to the chagrin of his doubles partner, Darian King. This fire once again from Ruben, who appears overheated just a tad bit. I'm sure quite happy to be scheduled for tomorrow morning before the temperatures get too extreme tomorrow. Game point for Descotti. Too good. King trying to pinch that middle. Got it with an easy hold that tight to. Welcome to Life on Tour, where you will certainly have some interesting bedfellows. Olympian from Barbados, former Grand Slam junior champion out of Long Island. now here in the last couple of games both have gone the way of the man from Buenos Aires and so trouble here for Darian King we'll test her here at 15 all too casual there on that backhand Ruben barely having to make an attempt on the ball the last couple of points see how quickly King and Ruben trying to get through these points and both with matches actually all four with matches tomorrow high formation for Noah Ruben exactly what you want to do to your Orlando Let's there. Take that ball right into the belly button of Noah Rubin. Can't come up with that quick reaction. And two great chances for Descotti and Lutz. High formation once again from Rubin. They are 0 for 2 on the break chances so far this set. Noah Rubin always seems to be sure-handed with those overheads. Finds one from back behind the service line find off the first break chance. Let's take the last one. He will take this one as well. A fourth break chance in the set. Just misses wide and King Rubin again. points you're able to get deep in a, a second set as well. Some of those balls directly at an opponent right at the net. Maybe the reactions just aren't as sharp. Love 
Perfect return just inside the baseline from Noah Rubin. That backhand has been a bit of a struggle for him over the last couple of months, but finds that one and times it perfectly for the return winner. Is the line from Darian King, and Lutz just does not have the legs to get to that one adequately. Set points, King and Ruben, they'll have three looks here. One for one so far on their break chances here in the set. an hour from Orlando Luz and King completely full. Set point number two. And it will be Darian King to take the third and deciding set point. Is out long. 5 3. We continue on here in this second set as a programming note and again a reminder. Sunday in Bosnia. Here in the States on a Tuesday. As Ruben's trying to serve out this second set. Just long out of Orlando Luz. This is kind of what you want, though, if you're Noah Rubin, the opportunity to try and close out a set on the double side when it doesn't necessarily mean as much to you. Just play a couple of important points on your serve. And that's not exactly what you want to see. Rubin drops the racket in frustration. He will leave it on the court for a moment. Rips are a bit of an issue, again, with the heat, humidity, with the sun out now. I'm sure the feels like temperature on court somewhere around 110. Depth from Ruben once again causes the problem. Set points once again for King and Ruben. They will have three looks here. Oh. 
risk from deep in the corner did Ruben that is a high risk high reward type of a situation does not pay off in that moment so a set point but also a break chance for Lutz and Descotti who's going to take this one Descotti on the ad side this is their fifth break chance of the set Ruben and King have been able to fight them off so far by the waist. This is my first time getting to see him out on court, and you can just tell how emotional of a player he really is. Every mistake punctuated with a wave of emotional gestures. Splits the middle. I think the, the difference, the high level doubles players, that first volley that Noah Rubin gets a look at, that's one that's punctuated, finished, and sent into the corner. Ruben is able to find a forehand return winner into the alley. He's been looking for that shot throughout this day. joking around about it just a little bit, but that's one all you got to do is just put that ball back in play. Ruben expressing his disappointment. <laughs> that not much better as it is punished. Lutz and Scotty have turned things around here in set number lower ranked. The desperation that comes out of that. <laughs> his second of this set and the match. Get this, got it back. 
backhand is baseball swing esque. He nearly grinds down into the ground to take that big roundhouse. It's a lot of motion. No movement from Ruben at the net. He's not even attempting to pinch middle, so it's very comfortable here for Luz and Scotty. They know they can go cross court very easily, very calmly. a yikes moment there that four hand And that has been such an issue for them in that first set. Well, we have avoided that catastrophe here in the second. In fact, that is the first of the set for Lutz and Descotti. says I can't hit a forehand. Matter of opinion. Not bad. He's done well with it over the years. <laughs> Certainly one of the benefits of being here at the challenger level, you will get those interactions with the players throughout the broadcast. and point away from the breaker. serve to start it. Our biggest supporter in the crowd. Misses Red Licky. Ruben pops an ace. 
can this crowd firmly behind Little Ruben and Darian King. Little Ruben asking for the crowd to join him in a wave at the beginning of the second set tiebreak. Only five feet away from him. Might as well interact with him and make this enjoyable for everybody in these types of conditions. Does Scotty now love one? Ruben has been looking for that forehand up the line from deep in the ad corner throughout this match. He's only really connected with maybe two or three throughout, but that one gives him a mini break in this tie break. that Ruben was looking for. Mock disgust on his part. But the mini break in hand. 2 1. to hit a backhand from that ad corner currently. Everybody running around and hitting the inside outer. Thank you. The mini break back for two all. Darren, let's go, come on. Struggles to get around it. That is perfect for Noah Rubin. The overhead from back behind the baseline. Fantastic crowd nearly on their feet for that. Comes up with three overheads as well. Rubin checking his pulse. Calm as can be. Always Mr. Rubin, right? 3-2. the forehand wide so Would you mind coming up and getting that? Instead of just hitting the back end there, he continues to run around, hit that inside out for him. The extreme angles have been problematic. Back, mini break is gone for all. Boy. Uh. 
Yeah, that was massive giveaways from both King and Ruben there. King had a simple forehand volley that he was unable to finish. Ruben, on the other hand, just rolling a forehand back to Descotti, who just takes a pot shot into Darian King. And just like that, King, Ruben on the ropes. 5-4 It's going to be on the racket of Descotti. I think everybody absolutely stunned at the outburst there from Descotti. I, that is outlandish. That type of celebration. I, I frankly have never seen that in first round doubles action at a challenger, but have at it, youngster. Match points. Scotty and Lutz. 6 3, 7 6 into the quarterfinals here.